Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kevin the Skull Anderson, and welcome to the world premiere of a brand new web series on YouTube. This is called, very simply, and this is named after one of my collections on DeviantArt, Reaching Out to the Unfamous. This is basically my attempt to reach out to as many unsung artists as humanly possible so that all of you can see the work that I see and the potential that I see in them. Let's get started, shall we? This is one of the people who inspire me to create intense and surreal art that would otherwise be called postmodernist abstract in most cases. This is a DeviantArt user named Katish Chan with a hyphen in between the Kaddish and the Chan. Her real name is Ekaterina. She is a woman from Russia who has made it her life's work to create the best work she can for more than five years. Her art is undoubtedly one of the most thought-provoking galleries of art that I've come across in a long time. You see all this stuff that she's done? That's her life's work, rolled into one right there. Her life's work. And especially this one, the one that I recently faded. This was one that she did. She clearly put her heart and soul into it. It's a digital, com it's a digital composition. It's part of her Huvember project. And it features a woman who is leaping into the light. I basically consider it to be some sort of a spiritual message as the woman portrayed is experiencing a spiritual awakening. And I believe it because I consider myself to be in her shoes in that regard, specifically the woman portrayed in this picture. And that's pretty much that now, isn't it? And here's the thing. She has many interests. She has many interests. Her favorite movies are Drive, Millennium Actress, and Pacific Rim, all of which are actually really, really good movies. Her favorite bands, her favorite musical artists, Nero's Day at Disneyland, Caravan Palace, Bonaparte, and System of a Down. System of Down is also one of my favorite bands too because I listened to them growing up and I could relate to their music more than a lot of things. Her favorite books, of course, range from books from Aaron Welsh and Victor Pelevin, who I believe are Russian authors. So, yeah, absolutely. Nothing says national pride like considering your favorite artists to be from the country in which you live. And you know what? I absolutely understand that. Absolutely understood. And she also has a few favorite games. She likes Skyrim. She likes Ozul. She likes Portals 1 and 2. And a couple of other things. And let me just say right now, when I got this note from her today, and, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read it to you. I got this note from her today and she thanked me for everything that I did to allow her to motivate herself to keep doing this. She was at an awful crisis. She had wanted to drop all her paintings into a trash can and there I was right there. I saw her work and I changed everything. And she she even she even 
complimented me in such a way, and I'll never forget this. She said that I helped her more than all of her friends. And in almost every single way, she's right. I have helped her a lot. And I try to help out with everyone, you know? And it just goes to show that anyone with even a third grader's artistic ability can allow themselves to think like God so that they can transcend art and create something that completely transcends all life. And you know what? That's not the case for her because she was born with these talents. She was given by God these very talents which were bestowed upon her upon her being born and many years she has spent perfecting these talents these artistic talents like I'll, I'll give you an example this this one picture this one picture entitled Rosemary this picture really really speaks to me it speaks to me a lot and I'm also going to say straight up that this is one of the most strikingly attention-grabbing pictures that I have seen in quite a while. And, and I just looked at this. I just looked at this not a couple of seconds ago. You saw it for yourselves. But this picture has such a deep meaning to it, such a deep meaning that anyone can relate to it even though few would actually want to believe it and it's it's so funny to me because pictures like this are what fuels creativity it's what fuels the lifeblood of the human race and this woman this russian woman cactus chan she creates absolutely gorgeous stunning works of art simply because she allows herself to because she was born with this ability and she uses these abilities to channel her inner Leonardo da Vinci her Vincent van Gogh her um her her Claude Monet you know to unleash the true artist in her. But I mean, that just goes to show. Do you get it now? There are lots of other artists out there who are desperate, who have been working tooth and nail and hammer and bone to get the recognition that they are entitled to. And I'm not sure that I'm saying this right, but I'm just going to say it. There is no such thing as a bad artist. There's no such thing. And I know this because it's true. It's absolutely true. No such thing as a bad artist. In fact, anything in this day and age can be considered art. I mean, 600 years ago, the only kind of art that you'd see is either an architectural design or an oil on canvas. Now, it can be anything. It can be a screenshot. It can be a capture on TV. It could be a photograph of an inanimate still frame object. It could be anything. It could even be you crapping out something into your toilet and then taking a picture of it. Anything can be considered art. I mean, do you get it? And that's why I say that by my reaching out to the unfamous, they will be able to get the recognition that they've been searching their whole lives for. And it's not just something I struggle with, it's their struggle too. So their struggle is my struggle, and my struggle is their struggle. So until next time, this has been Kevin the Skull Anderson, and I will see you on the next one.
Goodbye, good night, I'll see you in cyberspace, and do what you can to support me anyway. Of course, you don't have to pay me anything, I do these videos for free, you know, with my smartphone, but whatever you think of my videos is okay with me. I'm not gonna hold it against you if you hate me. I'll appreciate it though if you can give me some positive feedback. I don't even expect this video to get even three likes. Yeah, but that's it. Have a good day.